My people, Kasala don't boast though. They supposed the father to the twins don't finally show up. And the man is very, very furious with the contradiction of things that is happening right now. Because according to him, oh, Toby stole his children. So my people, this matter where it is day right now. On every single morning we get to wake up, Toby has a reason not to return back into the palace. And the matter is beginning to be something else all of a sudden. Because if Toby keeps having all of these occultations day after day, then how is Toby going to survive this matter? <laughs> My people before now, everybody had a perception that these twins definitely, aside the surrogate mother, these twins should have a father. And finally, the man have surfaced. And the man surfacing now, he has a lot of things to say. He has a lot and a lot of things to say. So my people who make we follow this matter as they take up or no. So sometime back, sometime back, Toby returned back into the palace based on an invitation that Olui Naomi gave her to come. That was when Toby came back into the palace and, you know, she announced her pregnancy. Toby started using baby bomb to, 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 uh, to uh, rub it into people's faces and all of those things. So... With this progression, we saw how Toby um, left the palace at some point. Shortly, we heard that Toby gave birth. But when Toby gave birth, there was something about these women. It seems like they go on an investigation on themselves. They investigate themselves to know the truth behind you. Because Toby gave birth, it was just a month plus. Then Oluria Deronke brought up um, a DNA report that states that those children does not belong to Toby. And from that point... Everybody started digging. People dug out, brought up the fact that Toby bought twins down to only finding the surrogate mother who carried those children. And according to what we heard, though, Toby had an agreement with that surrogate mother of which she did not keep to the agreement. The agreement was she will remain entitled to her children, but those children, as if they only claims custody of the children, those children will remain in the palace. So now it was more like a two-way thing. The children will remain in the palace, but this woman will have a chance to see her children whenever she wants. That is as long as Toby remains in the palace. So when the whole thing started becoming to be something like, oh, Toby might not have the chance to stay in the palace, the woman started demanding for her children. Because in this case, if the only happens to collect the children from Toby and and then him himself, her, him himself collects the children, keeps them and sends Toby away, technically, Toby will not even have that room to grant her the chance to come see the children in the palace again. So she started demanding for her children that there is a bleaching contract. That was for not what Toby told her. But the truth remains that Toby herself didn't know that she would start having issues in the palace, that everybody would start finding out the truth behind what happened. So when Oni found the surrogate mother, we don't really know what the Oni discussed with her because the Oni chose to keep her a secret and never ever spoke about it yes he spoke about it but he never allowed anybody to know any single thing about it even down to a point when Oluri Naomi brought the CID into the palace that enough enough of all this talk 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 if they say something is like this Toby is dead the children are there let them find out the truth but the only stopped her that she should stop tomorrow Toby would say that you ruined my life <laughs> and it is nothing but the truth because even after Oluri Naomi stopped, the CID left the palace, yet these women are still dragging her that she ruined their lives. So my, the matter on ground right now, the man has stormed the palace and he is concerned about one thing. He is concerned about his children. Remember some days ago, Toby came out willing to hand over the children to the surrogate mother back and she was begging the only because she felt she has met her end and there is nothing she can do. At this particular point in time so she started begging the only so and made pledge that she was going to return back the children and then today we are hearing that the father of those children is in the palace nobody will be happy that you are holding my children for your selfish game yes nobody will appreciate that and nobody will even want to embrace the fact that eh, you are you took my children you did this you, no 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 nobody would want that 
So the whole matter even on ground right now is not just the fact that Oluwi Tobi has those children in her course. So it's the fact that those children has a father and the father has finally surfaced right now and the man is not finding any single thing happening in the palace funny. So the man asked only a very, very um, tricky question. The man asked only that, let's say for instance, that another man claims custody of your children of Prince Tadenika, what, what will you do? Knowing fully well that Tade is the only son, the only has come out to declare that it's his son, the man had to ask the only that way. But you see, all of these things would have been avoided if only his wife were content in one way or the other. The last time Oluria the wrong had tried doing something like this, everybody was asking, the only is not even pressuring you for children. Is it that you are you are trying by all means so that he will not get married to another wife or what exactly because obviously it was a proof that they're just trying that only should not pick another wife or should not go for another wife because the essence of lying that you are pregnant then after some time you will now say you had a miscarriage but nature doesn't lie all of these things comes with signs symptoms that you cannot hide them so the truth will definitely get reviewed the truth will definitely come out the truth will definitely in one way or the other come out and then you will tell the people that no 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 i was actually pregnant no these things the the there is a truth behind them yes my people so when she did that we all saw how bad it went for her we all saw how bad it went for her so oluri toby would have been more considerate in her actions because all of those things would have been avoidable all these questions this man is asking the only all this authority the man feels only took over his children and all of those things it would have been avoided but simply because only's wife does not regard him yes they don't if this woman regard the only one beat they would they would actually think more about what the only has to gain in their show of character rather than the things they do Yes, because if these women are not considered, when all of these women were handling Oni's business in one way or the other, Oluria Doronke was handling their in Ilife. Miriam was handling Oni's business almost very, very vast. She was handling it very, very vast. And and then this person, um, Toby, took over the branch. Naomi was handling in Lagos. This is a business Naomi has handed, handled to. But you see how bad Toby handled the business down to a point that she even had to say that Naomi did not leave her with a well standard business. But Naomi got accolades from running that particular business from the only that she did so well. So my people know these women now they have Sabi waiting they want. And if truly, truly the only wants peace, then this very step he is taking. It might be chaotic, but he should just continue. Because if he succeeds in having this woman out of the palace, then this is just nothing but the end of it. This woman would never come back to pester his life again. But let's see how the matter goes and how this whole thing will end. Because as it is right now, these women are also fighting.